JSF is basically a framework which can be used to design web applications. First of all, what is web application? If we come for this point, web application is an enterprise application. So first, what is an enterprise application? Enterprise application is a group of organizations running under a single label. Collaborative of organizations running under a single label is called as an enterprise. For example, if you take a roadside Pachari shop is one of the organization and Durga Software Solutions is another organization, Tata Group of Organizations, this is another organization. Among these three levels of organizations, which organization is treated as an enterprise? In general, we are able to say enterprise is a business organization. If we consider this Pachari shop, there also some business is going on. Might be customers are coming and uh, shop owners may, may, may provide the service providers, they provide their services. There also cash is, money is exchanged from one hand to another hand. Automatically, some service will be taken from respective shop to the customer. If we come for Durga Software Solutions, in Durga Software Solutions also, one type of business is going on. Here students are coming here and uh, institute is providing some type of services to the students. Here also money is exchanged from one, one hand to another hand. Or otherwise, if you go for Tata group of organizations, there also some service orientation is going on and customers are available, they are giving money. Automatically, Tata group of organizations, they are providing their respective services to the people. Among all the three types of organizations, which organization is treated as an enterprise? If we come for this, obviously, we are going to treat the Tata group of organizations as an enterprise. Why Durga Software Solutions is not an enterprise and why a roadside Pachari shop is not an enterprise, Kerno? If you come for this roadside Pachari shop, only one type, only one type of business is going on, only at one location that business is going on. This is a small organization, it is not an enterprise, no. If you come for Durga Software Solutions, if Durga Software Solutions is providing very good Java JTU training and it is having some multiple domains like consultancy services and like any other non-training uh, activities are connected with these Durga Software Solutions, automatically Durga Software Solutions is becoming as which one is an enterprise. Tata group of organizations. If you observe this Tata group of organizations, where number of, number of sub-organizations are going on. For example, TCS, Tata Consultancy Services, Tata Salcha, and Tata Motors, and Tata Communications, Tata Insurance. Like if you absorb multiple domains under this Tata, so automatically Tata Group of Organizations is nothing but is an enterprise kernel. Fine, this is nothing but which one? An enterprise. But what is an enterprise application? Or how we are going to design an enterprise application? If you design any software application for any particular organization, then it is called as an enterprise application. If you design any software application or software for any particular enterprise for the sake of their internal business processing, then that type of organizations, that type of software is nothing but which one is an enterprise. Next one, if you want to prepare any enterprise application where we have to provide mainly three layers clearly. To design enterprise applications where we have to provide three layers mainly. What are the three layers we are able to provide mainly here? The first one will be user interface layer. User interface layer and next one will be business processing layer After this business processing layer, the next one will be data storage and access layer. To design any enterprise application, mainly we have to provide three layers here. First one will be user interface layer. Next one will be business processing layer. And next one will be data storage and access layer. Overall, these three layers of layers, these three types of layers, we have to provide to design any enterprise application. If we come for this user interface layer, 
the main intention of user interface layer is to provide presentation part for the user or otherwise this is a starting point for the users to interact with our server side application mainly user interface layer will provide some starting point for the customers to enter into the enterprise application it will provide very good environment to accept the data from the users in order to submit the data to the server side application so for these purposes only we are able to utilize this which one user interface layer fine the main intention of this user interface layer is which one is to provide is to improve look and feel for the enterprise applications fine to prepare this user interface layer here we are able to use a separate logic now that logic will be presentation logic user interface layer will be prepared by using a particular logic that is called as presentation logic fine to prepare this user interface layer here we are able to use a set of technologies that the technologies will be like awt and the swing at a basic level now scripting languages we are able to use html next one jsp next one free marker free marker and next one velocity so these are the various technologies we are going to use to prepare user interface layer so finally the main purpose of user interface layer is to improve look and feel for the enterprise application and it will provide starting point for the customers to enter into enterprise application it will provide very good environment to accept the data from the users and to submit the data to the server side application and it will provide very good environment to perform client side data validations to prepare this user interface layer in enterprise application development we are going to use a separate logic now that logic will be which one presentation logic to prepare this user interface layer we are going to use a set of technologies that the technologies will be awt swing html jsp free marker velocity and so on number of technologies we are going to use fine after this user interface layer the important layer inside this enterprise application development is a business processing layer what exactly the intention of this business processing layer the main purpose of business processing layer is to provide very good environment to implement the exact client requirement this layer is a heart of the enterprise application development it will provide very good environment to implement the exact requirement of the client client actual requirement will be implemented in this particular layer kernel fine to prepare this particular layer we are going to use a separate logic now that logic will be which one is a business logic to prepare this business logic or to prepare this business processing layer we are able to use a set of technologies like uh, let's say for example servlets we are able to use on the base of the requirement on the base of the architecture we may use which one can you know jsps after this we are able to use ejbs and so on number of technologies we are able to use then right business processing layer is the heart of the enterprise application development it will provide very good environment to implement what exactly the client requirements that means what exactly the business rules and regulations are available these business rules and regulations are implemented by using this particular layer to prepare this particular layer we are going to use a separate logic now that logic will be which one business logic to provide this business logic in enterprise application development we are going to use a set of technologies these technologies will be servlets jsps ejbs and so on right next one data storage and access layer the main intention of data storage and access layer is it will provide very good environment to achieve data persistency here what is the meaning of data persistency it's very clear just interacting with the database and performing all the operations permanently that means the main intention of this particular layer is achieving data persistency effectively data persistency in the sense it can be used to interact with the database let's say for example this is a database is this layer will interact with the database 
and this layer will perform the database operations like inserting the data, updating the data, deleting the data from database and retrieving the data from the respective database kernel. To achieve this type of requirements, we are able to use this which one kernel? Data storage and access layer. To prepare this data storage and access layer, we are going to use a separate logic. That logic will be which one? Persistence logic. A separate logic we are going to use, that logic will be persistence logic we can identify. To prepare this persistence logic or this data storage and access layer in the enterprise application development, we are going to use a set of technologies. These set of technologies like which one? JDBC, comma, EJBs, Entity Beans, this is another one, EJBs, Entity Beans. Next one, after this Entity Beans, we will use some frameworks like Hibernate, like JPA and so on, number of things we are able to use. So, the main intention of data storage and access layer is to provide data persistency in the enterprise application development. Data persistency in the sense, interacting with the database and performing the basic database operations like inserting data, retrieving data, updating the data, deleting the data. To prepare this data storage and access layer, we are going to use a separate logic. That logic will be persistence logic. To prepare this persistence logic or to prepare data storage and access layer in enterprise application development, we have to go for a set of technologies like JDBC, EJB, NTDBs, Hibernate and JPA and all these strong content here. So this is mainly the layers what we have to provide to design enterprise application. To prepare enterprise application, mainly we need to provide three types of layers. The first one will be user interface layer. Second one will be business processing layer. And third one will be data storage and access layer. Fine. User interface layer is mainly for the sake of improving look and feel for the enterprise application. It will provide very good environment to accept the data from the users to send this data to the respective server side application. It will provide very good environment to perform client side data validations. And it will provide starting point for the users to interact with our enterprise applications. To prepare this user interface layer, we will use a, a separate logic. That logic will be presentation logic. To prepare this presentation logic in enterprise application development, we will use a set of technologies like AWT, Spring, HTML, JSP, FreeMarker and Velocity. Next one, business processing layer. This layer will provide very good environment to implement the actual client's business requirements. What exactly the rules and regulations are available for the clients? Business rules and regulations. That business rules and regulations will be implemented by using which one care? Business processing layer. To prepare this business processing layer, we are going to use a separate logic. Now this logic will be business logic. To provide business logic or business processing layer in our enterprise applications, we have to use a separate uh, technologies. They are nothing but servlets and JSPs, EJBs. Here why I am saying JSP is one of the technology to use to prepare this business processing layer and on the basis of the architecture, on the basis of the MVC architecture which we use, where we can use JSP pages also for the sake of implementing business logic in some situations. That is totally depending on the ground architecture what we have used clearly. No? Next one, data storage and access layer. The main purpose of data storage and access layer is to interact with the database and to perform the database operations ineffectively. That is nothing but achieving data persistency. Here, what are the persistence operations we are able to perform? Like inserting the data, like updating the data, like retrieving the data from database and like deleting the data from the respective database. To prepare this data storage and access layer, we are going to use a separate logic. That logic will be persistence logic. To prepare this persistence logic or data storage and access layer in our enterprise applications, we have to go for a set of technologies like which one? JDBC, EJB, Entity Beans, and Hibernate, JPA, OpenJPA, Toppling, like different different technologies and frameworks we are able to use to prepare this which one can know like data storage and access layer. So this is the basic layers we require to prepare any enterprise application now. As part of this enterprise application development, we are using this layer, these three layers are commonly called as, these three layers are commonly called as system logic layers. 
these three layers are commonly called as which one system logic layers so this is what about enterprise application development and what we have to provide to prepare this enterprise application kernel